Hi, guys. All right, so I wanted to make some quick thank you cards. Um, we're going to mass produce them using the Misty. We are going to be using some new kitchen sink stamps. Um, this one is called the new uh, Multi Step Fresh as a Daisy. And it has four layers, I'm sorry, more than four layers, six layers of the main image. So there's actually four of the flowers, and then you have two for the centers. And, and then it looks like a couple of leaves. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard to layer up. What I also wanted to show you is when these um, new stamps come inside the packaging, and you may have seen Jennifer McGuire, um, she just did a stamp using the berry set. So inside the brand new ones, they have this multi-step alignment guide, which is really cool because it shows you... Um, you know how they layer them and where the little layering points are and you can do these in order any order whatever works for you so you don't have to go one through six you can go six to one you can go three five two one and I find as I play around and layer them I will write down on the background uh, on the back of this what orders and what colors I like using and then of course here are the leaves down here the other thing I wanted to show you guys is they come with this layering guide, and if you watch Jennifer McGuire's video, she actually stamps the layer out and then figures out where the next placement's going to be um, using this layering guide and then um, moves forward. The other thing you can do with this layering guide, if you don't want to um, use it that way, is you can actually store your stamps on here. Um, just a, just a um, word of caution. The stamps do come, obviously they are great quality photopolymer. So um, they come on two sheets of acetate. Um, one is a little thinner, one is a little thicker. I never throw mine away if I'm going to peel them off. I keep that extra acetate because you can use them for shaker cards, window cards, you know. Um, you can use them for alignment on other stamping and then just wipe them off. But some people like to put their stamps on their layering guide, which is fine. If you want to do that, you do not want to put your stamps on the top of the layering guide. So this way it's face up. These are laser printed. And since the stamps are high quality photopolymer, especially when they're brand new, they're kind of sticky and it could pull some of that laser printed ink off. So what I recommend if you want to put your stamps on here, which is perfectly fine, it's a great way of keeping your stamps organized, is to flip the layering guide over. So when you flip the layering guide over, this side is much smoother, it's shinier. This side, there's a little bit of raised areas. You can feel it mostly in the darker print, and it's kind of a matte finish. It's not as shiny. So if you flip it over onto the back side, and then you want to store your stamps on there, you can see that the stamps will line up. So I will just show you here with this one. And they line up perfectly for the back side. That's how you'll know if you're putting them on there correctly or not. Because if you try to put the stamps on there on the front side, they won't line up, if that makes sense. It'll be a mirror image instead of, which would be opposite instead of the actual back side sticking. And again, I always recommend when you have brand new stamps, using the Versamark first to prime them. That'll take some of the stickiness out of the stamps as well. Um, so now I have all of my stamps on the layering guide so I know exactly which is which. And then I just keep the other piece of acetate as my backside. So I can store them, and then I have an extra piece of acetate that I can now use and keep as a spare piece for, again, window cards and things like that. So I'm just going to put that away in the drawer. So again, if you're going to use the layering guide um, to store your stamps, make sure that you're putting the stamps on the back side, not the front side. And if you're going to leave the stamps the way they are and just use the layering guide, that's perfectly fine. Um, just make sure that you're not putting your stamps on the front here because what happens is, again, it could lift some of that. And if that happens, don't worry about it. Use a little bit of rubbing alcohol very quickly. Clean off your stamps and then use a stamp conditioner um, just to make sure that rubbing alcohol is off of your stamps. I like um, the Hero Arts Ultra Clear. Um, that works really well. 
um, at cleaning the stamps as well. So just a quick tip about using the layering guide. Okay, so I wanna use this new stamp set and I wanna do um, two corners with the flowers and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna um, multi-layer that inside my Misty here. So I'm using the large Misty and I have my paper, which is Nina Solar White, cut down to five by three and three quarters. So I actually have four sheets so I can try to do four quick cards here. And I think I do need magnets because I didn't put any um, sticky tape down the ranger tape that I've been using. So I'm just gonna use that. All right, so the first corner that I wanna do, I'm gonna do layer one. This is gonna make it really quick, hopefully, to layer this. So this is layer one, which is the most solid image. And I think I'm gonna grab my Altenew inks real quick here in yellow. Sorry about that. Um, so we have one, two, three, four colors. This is the yellow family. This should work out okay. All right, so we have four layers of the actual flower. So we're gonna use these four colors. So this is the Altenew Yellow um, set, Altenew Citrus Burst, Fresh Lemon, Maple Yellow, and Honey Drizzle. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go lightest to darkest. So I'm going to start with closing the lid. And again, because these are brand new, super sticky, I want to first um, prime them with Versamark. My little magnets are sticking to everything except what I need them to stick to. Which is why I went to the sticky tape, but I didn't put it on my large Misty. I just used my mini Misty. All right, sorry about that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get my Versamark. Versamark, okay. And I'm just gonna real quick just stamp this, ink the stamp up, because again, these are brand new, so we're just priming these. And this is the first layer we're gonna just put in the corner here. And because it's super sticky, it's still pulling up the paper, not a big deal because we're using our Misty. We know we're just gonna tuck that back into the corner. And the first color, I'm going to use a citrus burst. That came out pretty good. All right, so I'm going to leave that stamp in place, but I'm just going to wipe it off real quick. I don't want any of that color transferring over. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the paper so that it is in the opposite corner. Okay, I'm gonna put our little magnets down. Why are my magnets not really holding up. It's like this is too thick for magnets. Okay, so now I'm going to put layer number two on here. And this is where that layering guide comes in handy because if you want to say, okay, which way should layer number two go, you can look at it there, you know, and take the stamp and position it to where you want it. But I'm pretty good at lining these up. So we're going to do layer number two. Okay. 
Okay. And we didn't take layer one off the door. It's still there. So we're going to go to layer number two. We're going to leave that in there. Make sure this is pushed all the way down in the corner every time. And we're going to go in with our next color, which is fresh lemon. And again, before we stamp layer number two, we're going to do Versamark. And just stamp that off. And actually, we're going to do two because I do want one in this corner. So I'm going to do Citrus Burst back on layer number one. So we're going to stamp both corners here just to get things a little quicker. And then we're going to do Fresh Lemon on layer number two, which is going to stamp over top of what we already stamped. So now when we close the door, we're going to stamp two images, layer one in this corner, layer two in this corner. Okay, pretty nice. So now what we're going to do is, you got it, we're going to do layers three and four on this side. But before we do three and four, I want to do number two over in this corner. my bar magnet out. There we go. That's much stronger. Ooh. All right, so we're going to go back in with the fresh lemon for layer two. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we want to do layers three and four. So we're going to move our card over to here on this side. And we're going to layer layer three in this corner. And then we can actually I'm gonna put some of that sticky grid down. The sticky grid comes in very handy. I want to use sticky grid sheets, not the permanent ones. And these come five to a pack. Okay, okay so we're going to go back to number one okay so layer number one over in oops let me pick up the door actually good there layer number one I'm gonna go in with the lightest which was the citrus first layer number two I'm going in with fresh lemon and it's fine you do not have to do them in order and I'm going to close the door and we are going to pick up layer number three, which is over here. And we want to do layer number three in maple yellow. So what I'm doing is setting this up for mass production. And what I normally do is keep like this stamp 
this ink color in the top right corner, this ink color down here, this ink color up here. So that way I know that the, the stamps that they're coordinated with so I don't mix up my colors. And I forgot to put first mark on that one. Okay, and you can see how this is coming together. And then we're going to put layer number four up in the corner up here, which is this guy here, a little more detail. That one's a little hard for me to see because I'm trying to look over the camera, but we'll see how it comes out. Actually, let me flip this and see if we can make it a little easier. Oh, there we go. There we go. Much better. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do that one in the fourth color. And I'm going to flip these guys over. Okay, so once again, layer one in citrus blend. Layer two in fresh lemon. Layer three in maple yellow. And layer four in honey drizzle. All right, let's see how we do here. not bad not bad so now we're gonna flip this one over because that one needs layer four and then these guys will get moved over just pull my sticky tape over so we just need to do layer four on this guy You can see how we got this layered daisies. And as they dry, the colors will dry back. And the more you use the stamps, the better they um, condition themselves. And so the colors will blend more evenly. Because these are brand new stamps, the, the color is still kind of beating up. Once they get stamped a couple times, it'll look better. So I'm going to do layer three and four on these, on these guys. And again, you might find a color combination is better if you stamp it from darkest to lightest. There's no rules. When you're doing layering stamping, it's whatever you're comfortable with. The manufacturer gives guidelines, but you you know, there are some stamp sets where I have to go backwards and go four, three, two, one. There are some stamp sets where I go two, four, one, three, you know, so I just write down on the back of my guides what stamping order works out best for me and what colors work out best for me. Flip this one over. But by do using a larger stamping guide, like this larger Misty, um, it makes it easier to do all four layers at once. And of course, you'd probably want to clean your stamps in between. I'm, for the sake of time, just kind of speeding along here. Okay, so we have these done. And then I would go through the other sheets. I'm just going to move this out of the way. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to stamp a sentiment on here. You would add your leaves and so on. So I have a really simple sentiment. Let's make sure this is down in the corner. 
don't they look so 3D? Like they wanna like you can see the dimension, like it wants to pop off the screen. It's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna use the thank you sentiment from make a big statement. That thank you right there. And again, you can use your layering guide and say, okay, where is this going to look the best? Just be careful if you put this stamp on here, it could lift some of that. So what some people do is they, they put their stamps on here, which is fine because this is an older stamp set, so it's not as sticky. So I say, okay, this is where I want it on my card. Now I'm going to close my door and then I'm gonna lift it up. So you can see this is an older one, it didn't stick there. You just wanna be careful with the newer stamp sets because they are super sticky and it could lift some of that off. And if it lifts it, it's fine. You just wanna clean your stamp off with a little bit of alcohol and then use stamp conditioner on it. You don't wanna leave alcohol on your clear stamps because um, it could dry your stamps out. So now we have the thank you there and I think we need a hot pink. What do you think? A bright, bright pink. Oh, here we go. Hero Arts Ultra Pink. And then I would go back in and add some foliage, some green leaves. Um, and there's two more center layers um, that need to go in the flowers as well. So I might as well show you that since we're already here. So once again, we have layer number five that we can put over here. All right, here's the problem with that. We wanna make sure that our paper is in the corner so that when we flip it, we know that we're always flipping it to the corner. So let me take my sentiment stamp out. You could do all three stamps at the same time, but I don't wanna mess this up. So I'm gonna take my sentiment stamp out for now. And we are going to do layers five and six, which are the centers. What did I do with my stamp? Oh my gosh, I do that all the time. Do you guys do that? Oh, it was stuck to the cleaning rag. Okay, so we have layers five and six, which on the layering guy, it looks like they use a dark brown and a black. I'm gonna use um, Coco from Hero Arts and Jet Black from Altenew. So Coco is the one that has a little bit more layers. That's number five. And then number six is just the centers, which is in black. Or you could do two colors of brown. Okay. And you could have done the center as well. All right, so now we're gonna flip this guy over. Again, tucking into the bottom corner. Coco and layer number five. And jet black on layer number six. Now this one, we can just plug into the middle there. Got ink on my Misty, wanna wipe that up. I think the cocoa was too brown, too dark. I probably should have went with a lighter brown. That one didn't stamp. Totally missed inking that center one. There we go. And 
then all we're gonna do is flip the corner. Now if I had my sentiment still in there, then I would just do the sentiment in pink, putting this back into the corner here. Since we already have everything out, let me just clean these guys off real quick. And throw my sentiment back on there. And I'm just going to eyeball it this time. Close enough. I'm gonna go back in with my doll pink, ultra pink, sorry. Oops, I totally missed the middle. Okay, so now by mass producing these panels, by having all of my layers in two different stamp positioners, I can get all six layers done just by flipping the corners and I can do a couple of cards at a time. So it makes it a pretty fast production. And then all I have to do is glue these down on some card bases and I'm done. Like I said, I'll probably go back in and add a couple of leaves and then just mount, e mount these on um, some colored cardstock and we'll have some cards. But I wanted to show you a couple of those tips and tricks along the way with the new guides. And then when I'm done, again, I wanna make sure that I am placing my stamps on the back side of the layering guide. Or again, if you don't wanna do that, you can just keep them on the two clear layers that you have and just save your guide and use it as a placement guide as well. So if you guys have any questions, post them down below. I will link um, these new stamps to kitchen sink stamps for you. Um, if you guys have any questions, post them down below. I appreciate all of your comments. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye, guys.